Here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you think and I Oh shoot, what is up guys? What's up YouTube? I'm actually here at work right now. It's actually the end of the day right now. Everyone left and I figured since it's time for me to go, I'll give you guys a little bit more B-roll of where it is that I actually work. Let's do it. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. No, I'm not innocent. All right guys, so I'm here right now. Um, I'm actually here playing on an arcade that we have that's pretty cool over here. So, I'm playing Pac-Man. Oh shoot, <laughs> I'm playing Pac-Man at work right now. This is so sick. Okay, so pretty much what I'll show you is my desk setup. So, as you saw last time on my last video, I was talking to you guys in the camera here, or two videos ago or something right now. Um, as you can tell again, I am completely by myself in the office. I wanna pretty much just show you my desk. I, I'm not gonna show you my code, right? If I was gonna show you. So let me go ahead and show you pretty much what my setup looks like. So let me hide my screens, everything really quick, my code, Bitbucket, everything I'm working on right now. Anything that's that I, I can't show you pretty much. Okay. Okay, so pretty much this is what I work on. I wanna show you guys. So if you look here right now, so usually what I have every single time when I'm listening to music, um, I have these awesome Bose QC35 headphones. Yes, I always have this cool thing right here with me on my charging station. Th what this does is literally just it charges everything that I have here. Here's my camera charger. Here's that. Uh, this is my cool keyboard that I have here at work. So this keyboard is called the Razer um, Black Widow mechanical keyboard. It's really sick. I love it. I actually have two. And so if anyone wants to buy my second one, which I don't need at all, let me know and I'll make sure to sell it to you guys. I use the Def Adder, Adder or something, mouse, gaming mouse here um, I got the Razer mouse keyboard right here something about me that you guys need to know is that w when it comes to me um, I always need air flowing like even when I'm in my car even if it's winter and freezing cold I still have my air conditioning on because I always need constant fresh air to be able to focus and so I even have this check this out I bought it. it's actually a quiet fan kind of quiet and I bought it at Best Buy for like 20 bucks and I use this and literally I just have it on and it's keeping me cool the whole day uh, whenever I'm here at work I am always listening to music and I have AirPods somewhere. And so whenever I listen to music, I do have these Bose earphones, but whenever like there's something that's urgent that I might need to start soon enough, I don't need to really focus as much. I have these AirPods so I can still hear the people around me. And I always have these Bose QC25s as well. But yeah, I mean, this is my screen. Okay, so this is pretty much my setup right here at work. Again, my fan, a charger, mouse, mouse, my mouse, mouse pad, my awesome keyboard, AirPods, always have my phone right here. Um, so this is my setup. I'm not sure if you can see it. I have to make it a little darker. This is the page I'm working on. This is actually our Spanish page from our people who are subscribers in Mexico. And pretty much what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing, is that I pretty much scroll down more. For example, this, what this says is Seguenos en Facebook, I'm assuming. Um, but what that says in English is like on Facebook. But what this says, because we're on a Spanish page, when it's a Spanish page, what I wrote is that it looks for this language, like us on Facebook, and it literally translates this into Spanish, which is really cool. And so that's what I was working on today. Um, what do I have on here? I have my Spotify right there. What else do I have in here? Um, I'm always on Discord. I am always on Discord. So this, if you haven't yet, make sure you join my Discord uh, on here. And I'm not on it all the time, but I just res I check it out whenever I have a chance. So join me on my Discord channel. Uh, I'm actually using VS Code. That's what I'm using to edit. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't have that many apps. I don't really have that many apps on my uh, computer, to be honest. I just have Spotify, Discord. Um, I'm just working. Um, I'll play YouTube videos in the background, some YouTube videos in the background. Um, like let's say podcasts, I'm listening to Dave Ramsey, Gary Vee. Um, sometimes I'll just listen to my own videos and just see things I can improve on. Um, that's pretty much what I have here in the office. So other than that, man, I'm, other than that, um, there's still some people actually here. So like, as you can tell, I'm gonna talk really quiet right now. Um, even though I'm like out of the tech team, I'm the only one that's here. We still have like our, I mean, I work for entrepreneurs. So we have people who do articles, editors, who do all these different things and they actually work on the other side. So the tech team is actually out here in the open, which is kind of cool, so we can all talk to each other. But everyone else is like by themselves on that side over there. And so I don't want them to hear me. But yeah, other than that, man, I mean, it's getting quiet and I actually have to go. It's already 5.20, I was supposed to leave by five. So I'm gonna go outside real quick and I'll talk to you guys in my car, one second. All right, time to head out. 
All right, so I'm here in the kitchen really quick. All right, so I am tired. It's already 5.30. But one thing I do want to talk about is, um, yeah, today for me, honestly, um, the things I'm working on aren't that hard here at work, but it's kind of stressful for me, I guess you could say, because even though the code I'm working on isn't that hard, what is hard, honestly, is just learning the code base, learning how everything works here, because everything's so new. Now, I am getting pretty familiar now with the things that I'm working on, and there's still so much more that I need to do. There's still so many different kind of tasks they still need to give me. But man, like, I was humble today. I'm not gonna lie, man. I was really humble today. I was humble because, I mean, even though I learned so much about code, there's still a lot of things that I'm still not that good at, like the, Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, someone actually came into the kitchen <laughs> when I was talking. Um, I was explaining to him that, you know, the CTO was set and everyone else was cool, like a vlogging office. But anyway, I'm getting out. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? Hold on. But yeah, so let me go ahead and continue what I was talking about. Um, what I was talking about was just like, there's just so much to learn. I mean, I came from a very small company, a small business with only X amount of employees, and they were a cool company, and I learned a lot. But where I'm working now here, Entrepreneur, the, the code base is huge compared to what we were doing at my last job. At least as a front-end developer, what we're, I'm doing here compared to my last job is completely different. There's so much to learn. And you know, honestly, and I think this is true, like I'm kind of feeling imposter syndrome. And I pr I'm not sure if I have to understand it correctly. You know what, let's just Google this really quick. It's a psychological pattern in which an individual doubts their accomplishments and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. And that's kind of what I feel like because I, I was a junior at my last company and you know I was working on very basic things there and now I'm working here at my current company and constantly what I'm kind of feeling is like man like I know I can do it but you kind of feel a feeling like I hope they don't think I'm like fake or I'm not as good as these videos make me seem like to be or they kind of regret hiring me and these things do come to my mind and 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 what I'm saying this is not because I'm scared of my I have fear that I'll lose my job. I don't have that fear whatsoever, but it's just like, you know, I'm new to this nice, this pretty, a big company in regards to like what they're doing or have, bringing out shooting, we're pretty much pushing out articles all around the world and we're working with many different people. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of feel that. And, and I was kind of humbled today because I made quite a few mistakes and there were things I just didn't know and I feel like I should have known these things. I'm not going to say what it is, but I feel like I should have known these things, but I didn't. And for me, it was a very humbling experience because even though sometimes as a developer program, we feel like we're up here, realistically, I'm still down here and I have so much to learn. And today was very humbling because, man, like it was just shown that I need to know a lot. Not like anyone was like mad at me. No one was mad at me because it's understandable in regards to how much I need to learn. This is a much bigger company than my last one. But man, I'm just, um, I'm humble, right? And I'm very thankful that I'm feeling this again because I did not feel this at my last job whatsoever, right? Um, they wanted to pay me more to keep me there, but I didn't stay. Um, and I'm very happy I didn't because I'm going to learn so much more here. But being humble, like if, I, if you want to be humbled, learn code because you'll be humbled pretty much every single day, <laughs> right? And I, I'm just thankful that I feel this honestly because it's pushing me to even want to learn more, to get even better. And it's keeping me on my toes to help me get ready to pay even more attention to even the tiniest of all details because one tiny mistake can cause a lot of things to our code base, which you don't want to do, which is why we have things when you do a pull request, people still review your code, which is important. But man, I'm just humble. Honestly, I'm really humble. And I'm just thankful for the opportunity. I mean, yeah, <laughs> honestly, this is probably gonna be a really short video, but I wanna push out more content for you guys, but more than anything, I just wanna document my journey. Anyway, man, I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> Literally, I, it took me, what time is it now? Oh, it's 5.35, I need to go, man. It took me 35 minutes to create this video for you guys. It's probably gonna take two or three hours to edit it for you. So, by the way, if you're noticing right now, yes, my video quality is a lot better. If you wanna know why, check out the description below. Or actually, I'm gonna tell you why on my Instagram stories. So hit me up on Instagram and IG. See you guys later. This is Krishan, this is Life for a Developer, and I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, what is up? IG, I'm here at work right now. Um, I'm actually the last one in the office at the moment. I'm here at work. I'm working on this, actually, um, this Spanish page, from Mexico page, pretty much, um, for our article on Mexico. And so I'm pretty much working on this plugin where, for example, if there's this word latest that appears in the article, um, what I need to do is I have to be able to find that word latest and translate it to latest in Spanish or so it's pretty cool but yeah man so no one is here I'm by myself like 
yeah so this is pretty much where I sit where the other front end developer sits our designers back there hey look I'm doing a time lapse right now this is the GH5 that I bought this body this camera is pretty amazing I love it a lot this lens like lens is insane oh man I love it so right now I'm creating my time lapse this will go on tomorrow's video <laughs> 